and welcome back to our channel. We all want to secure our data while using different software to automate our business processes. And in this video, I will tell you about seven functions that you may not know about that you have to turn on in Zoho to secure all of the data of your company in Zoho CRM. So let's get on into the video. But before that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we produce tons of useful content for all of the Zoho lovers. And the first function that I have to tell about is MFA or multifunction authenticator. So this is a function in Zoho CRM where you can create multiple steps that you can take before logging into Zoho CRM account for you or your employees. So it can be a verification over email or phone, or you can also use Zoho app Zoho One Authenticator app to log into your apps. And this is the way where you can secure your data from stealing and secure the log into your Zoho CRM account. By enabling MFA, you require users to provide two or more forms of identification, such as password and a verification code sent to their registered mobile device. This helps to prevent unauthorized access, even if someone gains access to user's password. This is available across all of the Zoho apps and I would highly recommend getting a mobile one authenticator app for easy access. Second function, which is not technically a function, but a Zoho app that can help you to secure all of your passwords in one place and share them securely with all of your employees, it's Zoho Vault app. So Zoho Vault is a secure password management tool that allows you to store and manage your business password in an encrypted vault. By utilizing Zoho Vault, you can generate strong, unique passwords for each account and securely share them with authorized team members. With features like password history, automatic password rotation, and role-based access controls, Zoho Vault helps you to enforce strict password security practices and minimize the risk of password-related security incidents. Next function is data backup. Before we were using Zoho and before we were working with Zoho, it was back in the day, seven years ago, we worked with one client that lost all of the company data because they didn't have any data backup. And one of the employees accidentally deleted all of the CRM accounts and data from the CRM system. Imagine what a catastrophe it is and how one simple function that you can turn on easily can save you from a disaster in your company. It is crucial to set up regular data backups across all of the Zoho apps to ensure business continuity and protect against data loss due to hardware failures, human errors, or malicious activities. Zoho provides comprehensive data backup functionality, enabling you to schedule automatic backups and store them securely in the cloud or on-premises. By activating data backups, you can quickly restore critical information in the event of data loss incidents. Next function that not every Zoho user knows about is restricting data export. So for example, you have new employees and you don't really trust them with leaking the data out of the company. So you can restrict exporting the data, for example, in CSV file from Zoho CRM, for example, the leads records or company's records and information from exporting this information, you can restrict your employees by assigning different roles and in different modules, you can set up different restriction for data export in your Zoho CRM. Zoho also allows you to set permissions and access controls to restrict data deletion rights to authorized personnel only. And also they have a new function in Zoho CRM and Zoho Box the record locking function and when the record is locked, you can't edit or delete it. Next one is security policies. You can set up different security policies and additional steps to secure your data Zoho provides a range of security policies that allow you to define and enforce specific security standards within your organization. You can configure policies related to password complexity, session timeouts, IP restrictions, and more. By setting up robust security policies, you ensure that your business data and systems adhere to the highest security standards, reducing the risk of security breaches. And the last function that I have to mention 
is setting roles and profiles. In Zoha CRM, you can set different roles for different users, be able to access different information or different custom modules or just modules. You can restrict or allow to view the information, to edit the information. You can also set up the notification and approving the process. For example, if some of the employees deletes a record in the CRM system, some of the administrators may receive a notification or an approval, a message of approval for allowing this employee to delete this record or to edit this record. So with Zoho users roles and profiles feature, you can assign specific roles to users, each with a defined set of permissions and access privileges. By carefully defining user roles and profiles, you can ensure that users have the appropriate level of access required to their job responsibilities, minimizing the risk of unauthorized access or data breaches. These are seven easy steps and easy functions that you can use in Zoho and Zoho CRM specifically to prevent the data loss and secure all of the data in your company that you store in your CRM system. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If yes, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because again, we produce tons of useful content for all of the Zoho lovers. I hope that all of this information will help you to protect your data. And if you have any questions regarding Zoho CRM, all of its functions, how to customize, implement, or integrate it, you can book a free 30 minute consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. Make sure to check the description box. You can also find some useful links down below there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe click the notification button and we will see you in the next week's video.